so welcome back to my channel today i have this look for you the star of the show is anastasia pink champagne and i love the way that it turned out so if you want to see how i got this look then please keep watching all right so let's get into this my eyelids are already primed with mac painterly and set i'm now taking anastasia beverly hills orange soda shadow with the sigma e40 brush and I'm applying that to the upper crease areas as my transition chain. Next for my Morphe 35C palette, I am taking that salmon color there with a MAC 217 brush. And I'm putting that in the crease of my eye and then bringing that down onto the lower lash line as well as putting it on the inner third of my eye and repeating the same steps on my other eye. Taking my Sigma E40 blending brush again, I'm just going over all of the edges to make sure there are no harsh lines. And back with my Morphe 35C palette, I'm taking that brown shade with a MAC 239 brush. And I'm putting that in the outer corner of my eye and bringing that into the crease, inner third as well, and lower lash line. I love this brush. It is such a multi-use brush. I can use it for anything. And then using my MAC 217 to blend out anything. And everything. <laughs> Repeating the same steps on my other eye. Then taking this nice raspberry shade from my Morphe 35C palette with the MAC 239 brush and I'm applying that to the outer corner of the eye, like a V-leg shape, but also bringing that down onto the lower lash line. Let's see how I also made it like a C shape, so yeah, just blending that out with my MAC 217. And then doing the same thing on my other eye, because we want symmetry, you know, symmetry. <laughs> so just blending. This, in my mind, started out as a halo eye with browns, and I was going to put orange in the center of my lid, but you know how things change? You just start doing it, and it takes over and does its own thing. So yeah, that's what happened, but I really love the way this one turned out. Next, I'm taking MAC Nylon Shadow with a small shader brush and applying that to my brow bone as I highlight. First applying with the brush and then using my finger to help blend that out. It's more blending. Then I'm taking this deeper cranberry shade from the Morphe 35C palette. Again on my MAC 239 brush on the outer corner of my eye and lower lash line. And blending again. Then I decided I wanted to deepen it up with a black, so I'm applying that to the very outer corner of my eyelid and blending. Then I'm going in with the bright orange shade that I love with the, the Firma 205 pencil brush and applying it to the inner third of my eyelids and then also the inner third of the lower lash line. Then taking the MAC 217 to blend that out. Next, the star of the show, Anastasia's Pink Champagne Shadow. And a flat paintbrush, just spraying that with some Fix Plus. 
me and then applying that to the center of my eyes. Seriously, if you have one eyeshadow, I feel like this should be the one that you should have. It is so pretty. I had it in um, a couple of the palettes, or maybe one palette, and I just decided to get it in a single pan because it was so pretty, and I'm like, yes, thank you. <laughs> so now I'm taking this Real Colors Hydro Lips pencil and applying that to my waterline. This pencil stays so well in my waterline. Next for my House of Lashes Lash Story, trying to decide which ones I want to wear, I decided to go for Smoky Muse. Just popping them on here. And this is the finished eye look. So this is the finished look. Um, I decided to match my lipstick to my eyes. Why not? This is NYX Street Cred Matte Lipstick. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and a nice little burn there. And I was going to use this orange, but then I decided not to. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. I want to like interrupt your mid-swipe. <laughs>